This video demonstrates knitting and linking the rib band to the neckline of the kid's sweater. Start by determining the number of stitches to knit the rib band across by holding the neckline up against the machine. You may stretch it slightly to determine the width. Remember, your kid's sweater is already seamed at the shoulder. In this video, I'm only demonstrating the front neckline only. You'll pull the full width across. Begin with a waist yarn start across every other needle, hang your comb, bring the alternate needles to work, and knit one inch or so of waist knitting. Break your waist yarn and knit in one row of ravel cord. Make sure to hold the ravel cord bobbin above the carriage as you knit across, just so you don't run out of cord throughout one course of knitting. After you knit the ravel cord, just like we did for the sleeve hem and the body hem portions of the sweater, e-wrap on top of the ravel cord row and knit the base of the rib that you'll reform. After e-wrapping, knit almost one inch of jersey stitch. This is gonna be your row gauge minus one. After you've knit the row gauge minus one row, reform into whatever rib pattern uh, the rest of your sweater has been knit with. One by one, two by one, three by one etc. After you've reformed the rib, knit one more plain row in your main yarn, which will essentially be the last row of your one inch or your row gauge. So if your row gauge was seven, you would have knit six rows, reformed those six rows, and then the seventh row will be this last plain row. We're gonna use this end of yarn to link the neckband on, so make sure that you've got about three times the width of the knitting before you break the main yarn. You'll need a long tail. Thread up waist yarn in a strongly contrasting color and knit about two inches of waist directly on top of the finished rib. No e-wrap, nothing else, just change the color and knit. After you've knit about two inches, break the waist yarn, empty the carriage, and run the carriage across empty to strip off the work. You can pull out the ravel cord as we have for sleeve hem and the body hem opening, and then prepare to hang the neckline, the neck band rather, back onto the machine. You're gonna hang the band above the needles, which is a little bit different than what we've been doing so far, but you're gonna pick up the last loop of main yarn knitting and hang it back on the same needles you just stripped off across. So here you can see uh, the edge is a bit tricky, but picking up the last loop of the brown yarn and hang it onto the last needle from which it was knit off.
after you've hung all of the main yarn stitches, remove the waist yarn by pulling the loose end at the bottom of the waist yarn section and unraveling back all of those rows. At this point, you'll receive confirmation if you've hung them back uh, in the appropriate place. If you have to pick up a stitch or two here, that's okay. Uh, do your best. We're next gonna hang the neckline with the pearl side facing us across those same needles. Make sure that when you pick up stitches along the edge, you're picking up the whole edge column of stitches and or rows. Because we've got a combination of straight knit sections, which means a row on the edge and decreased sections, followed by some bound off edges, we've got a mixture of, of stitches and rows that we're putting back on the machine. Do not expect to hang every single edge stitch or row. Instead, hang both sides, making sure that you're not picking up any of the slope of the shoulder, but high point shoulder to high point shoulder, and then repeatedly pick the center up of each span so that you can ease the neckline onto the needles that you've got in work. So select the center, another center, and then continue to fill in those segments until you've got work or stitches or rows rather on every single needle. Once it's all hung, push the work back against the gate pegs. Once the work is back against the gate peg, the last step is to bind off. We're gonna use the same latch tool bind off that we've worked for every other piece so far using that long end that we reserved previously. If you cut your tail too short, it's not a big deal. Just pick up a new end of yarn from the cone. It can even be threaded through the upper tension mast above you. Uh, since we've got work above the needles for the first time, we're gonna to have to manually open and close the latch on the latch tool and make sure that all of the latches for the needles are closed before we work this cast on. Put the yarn behind the gate peg and make sure the latch of the needle is closed and the latch of the latch tool is open. Draw the needle through, manually close the latch of the latch tool and repeat this process. Open the latch tool latch the needle latch should be closed. Pick up the yarn, close the latch tool, draw through. Work slowly. The latches cannot be open as they'll just pierce the knitting that's above the needles or pierce the back of the work that you can't really see uh, from the latch tool latch if it's open. Go slow work methodically. You already know how to work this cast off. Things just look a little bit different this time.
when you get to the end, you're going to draw the last loop all the way through the work, locking off this chain stitch you just worked across the needle bed.